Today, we're going to look into crucial tools you need to complete your asphalt shingle roof. So let's dive into the essentials. All right, here we have our essential tools. Start off our trusty roofer's hatchet. Can help you gauge shingles, cut felts, and more, most importantly, hammer some nails in. Then we have our two types of knives. We have a straight blade and a hook blade. Hook blades, very useful for cutting asphalt shingles, underlayments, um, and ice and water shield. Our straight blade, a little bit easier to cut your underlayments with, your synthetics, your felts. That's why I keep one of each in my tool belt. Then we have our aviation snips. We got our left straight and our right snips. Depending how much flashing work you're doing, important to have a set of each in your tool belt. Next, we have our pry bars. A standard pry bar, getting up under that flashing, digging up those nails. And then we have our roof snake. Very helpful when you're doing repairs. You can pry under some shingles, get those nails out, and then your other end helps you get those nails back in without having to lift the shingles too far. First, we got our eye protection, gloves, we got cut resistant gloves, leather gloves, doing rips and whatnot, um, either or work. Next, we have our chalk line and our tape measure, our marking tools. Whether you're marking out your open valleys, um, your shingle overhangs, your starters, it's important to mark those, chalk them. Um, chalk's also important when you're getting your ridge caps put on. Make sure you chalk a nice straight line. You get a nice straight ridge cap. Then moving in, you got our hammer tacker. If you want to staple some underlayment real quick, hammer tacker comes in handy. Now be careful, if you're using the hammer tacker, most manufacturers won't warranty the roof be left overnight with just staples in the underlayment. In the case that you do want to leave the underlayment overnight, we got a fancy cap nailer here. So basically it fires one inch nails with a plastic cap head, and then you can leave that underlayment overnight. Um, alternately, you can use metal cap nails or plastic cap nails and hammer them in. Next, we got our nail guns. We got our pneumatic air gun. This one's a boss stitch. Fires um, different range of lengths of nails. Um, most importantly, your inch and a quarter, inch and three quarter. This is your, this is your everyday use. Air nailer. Another nice one we have is a DeWalt 20 volt operated air nailer. This comes in handy when you're doing repairs or roofing a small job. It's a little heavier. Uh, a little slower than your pneumatic, um, but you can do quite a bit of roofing with, with this as well. So it's important to have all these tools in your toolkit. All right, here we got our pneumatic nailer. I'll just fire a couple nails, just show you. I already have, we have some composite rubber roofing here, um, some Euroshield. I'll just drive some few nails in here just to kind of show you the speed accuracy of this one. So fairly quick, efficient. Next, we have our battery operated DeWalt. So I'll drive in a couple nails again with this one, just to show you how it works. So as you can see, not bad. Your limitations of the batteries, you can get bigger batteries. Um, so you can put a decent amount of nails in with this one. All right, here's our cap nailer. So like I said, one inch nails driven with a plastic cap, great for your underlayments. So I'll just drive in a couple to the underlayment here. So it automatically feeds um, your nails, your caps, and you can go pretty quick 
got your element put on, and it's safe overnight. A couple other great tools to have in your toolkit. You got your jacks. So two of these can be used setting up on a steeper roof, set up a board across a two by eight, a two by six. Um, helps you climb up the roof. You can place some materials on that board. Helps a lot on steep roofs. Another thing for steep roofs, we got these pitch hoppers. So it's a kind of extruded foam piece, very light. They got a little foam on the back, so it grips to your asphalt shingles, grips to your underlayment, your ice and water. Great for a uh, little steeper roofs as well. Um, you can put material on here, stand on here, use it as a platform for tools. So I'll kind of give an example of this. All right, so here I have one set up right at the eave on the underlayment. I got a second one here. I'll pitch up up here. I can climb on this roof. Sit on this pitch hopper, no problem. If I want to get higher, just move the next one up and scooch up. Pretty slick invention. Well, there you have it. I hope this guide helps enhance your toolkit. If you have any questions about any of these tools here, feel free to drop a comment. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, find out when we post new videos. Great. Have a good one.